Hey guys, it is Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm taking a break from crafting this week. Don't worry, I have lots more crafts coming up. So stay tuned if you are enjoying those videos. This week I am sharing with you my fall home tour. I haven't done many fall decorating videos, so I thought I would just put it all into one and do a fall home tour. So I'm gonna be sharing with you my living room, dining room, entry, and kitchen. I cannot wait to take you along to show you how I decorated for fall. I just have a few little things for Halloween. I'm not doing too much for Halloween. I'm mostly embracing and soaking in this beautiful fall season. It is my favorite time of year and just doing a few little things for Halloween, uh, especially just for my kids, but it's mostly just fall and I'm keeping it like that. I'm not going to be changing it over this year for Halloween, just tucking in a few little things. So let me know in the comments below if you decorate for fall or Halloween, or if you kind of do a little bit of both, or if you switch over. I know a lot of people do different things. This year, I feel like I, just as I get decorated for fall, I'm switching over to then Halloween. And this year, I said, I'm just gonna enjoy the fall. So anyways, you guys, if you are new here to my channel, welcome. I love sharing home decor, cooking, and DIY here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, click the subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay, you guys, you know what time it is. Grab yourself a pumpkin spice latte or a hot apple cider. That sounds really good right now. Sit back, relax, and let the fall home tour begin. Again, welcome to my 2022 fall home tour. The tour begins on my front porch where I have it decorated for fall. I've added some corn stalks, of course, some haystacks, lots of pumpkins, and I love these orange pumpkins. I got them this year at Lowe's, and I actually have some outdoor fairy lights in them, so I love the flicker at night. The first room up is the entryway. I love decorating this space seasonally. I hung some hops wreaths on the closet doors. This direction leads into the living room and straight ahead leads into the kitchen. I decorated the entryway neutral with just some simple, subtle fall touches. And Oreo is joining us as well. He will be our tour guide for the fall home tour. Next up, we are headed into the kitchen where I've kept it simple with just neutral, subtle fall touches. I have my copper out, which I keep on all year, but I love it in the fall. And this vintage harvest candle from 1803 Candle smells amazing. It has definitely been a fall favorite. And here is my little coffee area. I just added a few simple fall touches, including the sign from Hobby Lobby. I kept the kitchen dining table simple. I added a buffalo check runner. And for the centerpiece, I added a wreath on top of a tray and a pumpkin on top of the wreath so I can easily move it on and off of the table whenever I need to. I also added a few candlesticks as well. Next up, we are headed down the hall that leads to my favorite room, the dining room. I did share a fall dining room tour a couple of months ago. So if you caught that, you will notice some changes that I've made in the dining room since then. Mm -hmm. 
I really had fun creating this fall tablescape. I added pumpkins and gourds and I love the way it turned out. This beautiful picture along with the one that is in my entry are actually downloadable prints that I purchased on Etsy and then I printed as a 24 by 36 inch poster at Walgreens. I love doing this because it's such an affordable way to change out my artwork seasonally. I will include a link for these prints on Etsy as well as the frame that I love to use in the description below. Now we are headed into the living room. Most of the fall stems and garlands and wreaths that I use throughout my home come from Chatter Tulip, a local shop here. Some that I've gotten recently, some that I've had throughout the years. The garland on my mantle here is from Tatter Tulip, along with these beautiful stems. I actually did share a fall Tatter Tulip shop with me, and I'll include a link for that video as well in the description below. And one thing I love to do with our TV is go onto YouTube and find some vintage fall art. So when we are not watching TV, I at least have some beautiful artwork to look at. Okay, you guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did, and let me know in the comments below what your favorite room is. And for daily decor and DIY inspo and little tweaks I may make to my home for fall, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Mother Time. Thank you so much for spending time with me here today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.